Hello and welcome everyone. Today we're going to be doing a Marianne Faithful inspired makeup look and then at the end I'm going to do a short little lookbook. I'm just kind of playing around with the format of how I'm going to do this. Make sure to let me know what you guys think about the new format down in the comments and to stick around until the end to see some looks inspired by Marianne. If you are not familiar with who Marianne Faithful is, she is an iconic 60s muse. She was an actress, a singer, and also a girlfriend to Mick Jagger so you'll see them in a lot of photos together. She's one of my biggest style inspirations. She mixes a lot of masculine and feminine elements together which I find really interesting. Today I decided to go with this look of Marianne's. It's a little more like dark and sultry around the eyes than you see with some 60s looks like they use a lot of eyeliner but they keep it very like bright and open. I like her kind of like smoky take on it and I've noticed going through a lot of photos for these videos that she wore no makeup a lot of times actually and I get that comment once in a while people asking like what kind of makeup styles can you do besides a cut crease and there are so many and you don't even have to wear makeup if you don't want so it looks like she kept her face pretty bare it looks like she wore very little blush and she didn't quite do the 60s cut crease in this look I noticed like a very few early 60s photos of her that she did more of like the twiggy kind of cut crease but it seemed like it wasn't something that she did too often after the early to mid 60s and my personal favorite style of hers is like late 60s i feel like her style got really cool and is in a lot of ways very similar to like Brian Jones, Keith Richards, Mick Jagger, Anita Pallenberg. I feel like they all kind of just like shared clothes at that time. I heard that there is a movie coming out about Marianne which I'm so excited about. For blush today since she does keep it more light I think that I'm going to use more of this like orange shade and just use a tiny little bit of it that's in this eyeshadow palette. I use it for blush sometimes and I feel like with this more of a natural kind of a blush look, this will be good for that. And I'm kind of putting it more into my cheekbones than I normally do. I normally place like my blush kind of up here. If you didn't know, Marian Faithful was actually the person who I modeled my last haircut after. Um, and it is specifically the haircut that she had while in Girl on a Motorcycle. Set the concealer that I put on. I love that I just sit by my window and my driveway is like right here so anybody who enters the driveway and it's a shared driveway too so my neighbors use the same one um, they just see me sitting here filming or talking to my phone whatever I'm doing live streaming first for the eyes I'm just gonna use like a kind of close to my skin tone pinkish and put that down first it looks like her lids are actually pretty white so I'm using this shimmery white shade in this little palette and I'm just gonna pat it on my lid okay now for the crease and by the way I'm actually working on doing that hooded eye tutorial for like a cut crease kind of a look I'm practicing on my fiance who actually has hooded eyes and since we're quarantined together this is the perfect time to practice on him and do that video for you guys. I'm just gonna take a black first and I'm putting it on this like kind of thin brush but not super thin and I'm gonna go like right above my crease having my eye open. And then what we just put down there we're gonna blend it out with a little bit of a fluffier brush so it didn't need to be super precise or anything. And I'm seeing that she went pretty deep down into her inner corner so I'm gonna grab a little bit of a more densely packed brush so I can make a finer line just since that's like a smaller area of my eye. Blend it out a tiny bit but I'm using like that first brush that we used on making this art instead of the one to blend out just since this is a smaller part. Now we're gonna go for the eyeliner which she brings all the way down into her inner corner and connects with her bottom lash line eyeliner as well. I'm gonna do this eye and then I'm gonna do this eye off camera just to save me for editing. I'm trying to create a process here in case you're wondering why I'm not going with this eye. And it never looks like she really brought it out too far at the ends so I'm gonna keep that for last and it's gonna be pretty short little tail there. So I went with a kind of like 
rounded shape with the eyeliner like depending on your eye shape it's gonna be different if you just go along the lash line you know but I tried to create like the illusion of a perfectly little arched eye line there because it seems like that's kind of what she did or that was just the shape of her eyes I'm not really sure so now for the very inner corner I'm gonna bring it down and it looks like connecting like I said to the lower lash line which I'm gonna fill in with a eyeliner pencil that luckily I still have because I never use it and so I thought that I'd gotten rid of it but this it's coming in handy now okay now I'm going to add a little bit of gray eyeshadow to my lower lash line and I only have a sparkly one so yeah we're just gonna go with that but it's that dark gray color that I'm gonna use. And then I'm gonna go directly into the lower lash line with this pencil, which I need to sharpen. All right, now we're going to add some mascara just to the top and bottom. It looks like she coated it pretty thick to kind of go with that dark look, so. We're gonna do the same. All right, so we've got the makeup done on one eye. I see that she's got a lot of freckles, so we're gonna add some of those too, because they look super cute. So I just use this brush, which is like a little round brush, but any small brush will do. And then I'm gonna be using like this warm brown and a little bit of this one, and then I'll do just a tiny little bit of brown ones as well. Like the dark brown, I mean. And now to make those look a little more natural, I'm just going to go over it with my brush that I used for the powder to set my face. Now I just have to finish this eye. I'm going to do that off camera. Then I'm going to do a quick Marianne inspired hairstyle and then we'll jump into the lookbook. All right, you guys, here's the makeup. I really like it. I think it's super cute. Now we're just going to do like a little quick Marianne inspired hairstyle, which she used to pull her hair back like the front kind of pieces a lot and especially with the hairstyle that I have so I'm going to brush down these little side bits okay so now that it's all brushed out I'm going to separate my shorter front pieces from the rest to make sure they don't get tucked up I'm gonna be using this giant like metal brett thing that I have um, to clasp my hair together but she also did like ribbons Sometimes or you could just use a ponytail holder, you know, whatever you have try to make sure that's like semi even in the back And then this is what we've got. So she kept her hair her bangs down mine are kind of getting long This is the finished makeup look and hair So now we are moving on to the miniature lookbook portion of the video. I have six outfits here inspired by Marianne's style. I just took bits and pieces of outfits, kind of meshed them together, and created my own looks.
All right, and so that concludes this video, everyone. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how you like this new format, if you prefer the lookbooks to be a separate video, or if you like this shorter little lookbook portion. I was feeling like they kind of went on a little bit too long. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you're having a fantastic day, whatever you're doing, and I'll catch you in the next one.